Good morning, mothers of Zion. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So good to be with you today. I am sitting in for my wonderful pastor, Callie, my sister. And um, I'm so honored to be able to pray with you this morning. And I have my honey here on the keys. And uh, he's going to be helping us worship today. We're going to sing and we're going to pray. And I'm just going to wait a minute for you to pop on here. And as you're popping on, make sure you get your elements ready because we will receive partake of communion first before we start worshiping, singing. We're going to, uh, our communion today is worship. Uh, but before we start singing, we're going to go ahead and receive our communion together. And then um, we're going to pray. And all of this, from communion to singing to praying, is all worship unto the Lord. He loves it when we come before Him and love on Him, and He wants to love on you today. I honor all of you mighty, mighty warriors for God. You are amazing women, and I just honor you today, and I thank you for being so faithful to get on here every day and pray and seek the face of God, not only for yourself, but for a nation that's in dire need right now, and so you're the answer to that. Your prayers and my prayers are the answer to that, so I thank you for being faithful this morning to get up and pray, and for those who'll watch this later, let's replay it. Make sure you're sharing this broadcast. As you get on, start a watch party and share this for those who may not be able to be on now, but may be able to watch later and pray later. This is a powerful time of seeking the Lord together, so I honor you, all of you, 247 who are already on here, ready to pray and worship together. <clears throat> we just love you so much, and we thank God for you every day and your faithfulness to the Lord. Listen, Faithfulness and righteousness has its rewards. I am a living testimony of the faithfulness and righteousness of God in my life and my family's life. He is so good and he's been so good to us. And I'm telling you, you just keep being faithful. You keep serving the Lord. You keep following him. You keep praying and seeking his face and watch and see what he will do in your life and in your children's life and in your grandchildren's life for generations to come because God is a generational God and he loves you and yours today. So I'm so blessed, so blessed. I wanted you to go ahead and get your elements ready and we are going to receive communion together. Love you. We've already got 312 of you on here. So let's go ahead and get our elements ready. Father, we thank you today for your precious, precious broken body for us, Lord. Thank you for what you did at the cross. And I thank you. You didn't just do it for you, but you did it for the world that we can be healed, delivered, and set free. So Lord, we thank you for your broken body. I want you to take that cracker and I want you to break it right now. And I want you to listen to the sound of it breaking. Lord, we thank you that your body was broken. The Bible says you were unrecognizable as a man and you took it so that we could be healed, delivered, and set free. So today, God, we honor your broken body and we thank you for what you did for us at the cross and we receive it right now today the most expensive precious meal that we could ever receive in jesus name thank you for it thank you for it lord and thank you for your precious blood your precious blood poured out for us god so that we could be redeemed so we thank you jesus you poured out your life's blood for us so we thank you for it today. We remember you. We do this, God, in remembrance of you. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Now, right now, I want you just to lift up your hands with me, and I want you to thank him for healing. Thank him for healing your body. Thank him for healing your mind. 
Thank Him for healing you emotionally. Thank Him for healing you spiritually. Thank Him for healing every area of your life today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I hear the Lord saying, somebody woke up today with a bad report from the doctor. And I hear the Lord saying, you're healed. You are healed. It's benign. And God has already purchased your healing at the cross. And you are healed. I hear the Lord saying you're going to have a good report. The next time you go back to the doctor, the, the doctor's going to be sitting there in amazement and saying, what in the world happened? I don't know. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus. And somebody's going to have a benign report. Somebody's got some kind of tumor or something in your body today. And you're going to go to the doctor and they're going to say it's benign. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with you. I thank you, Jesus, for your precious blood your broken body for our healing today, Jesus, and the healing of our minds and our hearts and our relationships. Lord, I thank you that you are healing your precious daughters right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just right now begin to thank him for it. Thank you, Lord. I'm healed. I'm healed by your precious blood, Jesus. I'm healed made whole today in Jesus name in the name of Jesus I love you Lord I love you Lord I love you Lord good morning good morning to each and every one of you I love you so much thank you Father thank you Father thank you Father somebody said the music's loud can you just play a little softer it's okay let's, let's do I sing praises to your name I sing praises to your name. Y'all remember this old song? Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I sing praises. I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Would you sing it with me, baby? I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Sing it. I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. Now would you sing, I exalt thee. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I lift my hands to you, I lift my hands to you, I sing, I sing this song for you, I exalt thee Lord, I exalt all thee, yes I do. Oh, Lord, we lift our hands to you this morning. We exalt you. 
And we declare that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords over the United States of America. Lord, we thank you that the foundations of your throne are justice and righteousness. So, Lord, today we declare that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords over our nation. And, God, you are a God of equity. You are a God of truth. You are a God of justice. And we declare that the justice of God God would reign over our nation and God that you would uncover anything God that is not like you and let your glory God reign over this nation we pray God for another great awakening for the glory of the Lord to be poured out over this nation and the nations of the world Lord start with us today Start with your people today. Start with our families today. Start with our churches today, God, for judgment begins in the house of the Lord. Lord, start with us. Would you pray with me right now that God would have mercy? Lord, have mercy on this nation. Lord, have mercy on our land and heal our land. Forgive us, God. We stand in the gap today as women of the Lord, and we stand in the gap today for this nation, and we ask you, God, to cleanse us and purify us and heal us, God, from all unrighteousness, God, for all injustice, God. Heal our land. Forgive us, Lord. Awaken your people, oh God. I thank you for a fresh fire and glory, God, to rise up in your people, God, that we would be men and women of prayer, God, that we would pray effectually and fervently and righteously, God, according to your will, God, and your purpose and your plan for this nation, Lord. We stand in the gap this morning, and we ask you, God, to have mercy on our nation. God, I thank you, Lord. You're making us strong in faith, strong in prayer, strong in the word of the Lord. God, that we would hide your word in our hearts, God. We would fall in love with your word all over again, that you would give us and this nation a Bible revival, God, that we would love your word, that we would love your precepts, oh God, and that we would hide your word in our hearts, Lord. We thank you for that today. I want to read Psalm 33 today. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise from the upright is beautiful. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make melody in him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. He loves righteousness and justice. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. So, Lord, we thank you today, God, that you love righteousness and justice, and the earth is full of your goodness, O Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. Can everybody say the fear of the Lord? Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the people of no effect. So Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, any plan that is not according to your plan for this nation, God, that it would become null and void, that you would make it of no effect in the name of Jesus. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations 
Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. So, Lord, we thank you that the United States will continue to serve you and follow you and declare that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own inheritance. The Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of men. From the place of his dwelling, he looks. He looks on all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts individually. He considers all their works. No king is saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man is not delivered by great strength. A horse is a vain hope for safety. Neither shall it deliver any by its great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. Hallelujah. The eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, on those who hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let your mercy, O oh Lord, be upon us. Would you pray that right now over the United States of America? Let your mercy, O oh God, be upon us, your people in the United States of America, just as we hope in you, O oh God. You are faithful. And you will never leave us, God, or forsake us. You are faithful to a thousand generations, oh God. And you hear our prayers. You hear our prayers. Heal our land, oh God. Heal our land. Save our nation, God. Help us to return to you with weeping and fasting. And oh God, search our hearts. Give us clean hands today, God, and pure hearts. Purify us, oh God. Heal our nation. Let righteousness and justice and equity prevail in the United States of America. I love you, Jesus. I worship you, Lord. And you are faithful. You are working, God. Even when we don't see it in the natural, we know by the Spirit, God, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then we would hear from heaven, God, and you would hear our prayers and heal our land. So, Lord, today we stand in the gap for this nation. And we ask you, God, to uncover all fraudulent, inequitable things across this nation and across this election. God, I pray your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Pray that with me, God, right now. Pray to the Lord with me right now. God, have your way on earth as it is in heaven for this nation right now in the name of Jesus. God, we ask you that your will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Let heaven invade the United States of America. Let heaven invade our homes today. Let heaven invade our churches today. Let heaven invade our cities today. Have mercy, Lord, on our nation. Help us to return to you, O oh God. To return to you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, God. Have your way in our hearts. Help us to surrender to you. To surrender. To surrender. To live a surrendered life. An obedient life. 
Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. God, we pray right now that you would not just be our Savior, but that you would be our Lord. Lord of all, King of kings, and Lord of every area in our lives. We say you're Lord, but then sometimes our lives completely say otherwise. But God, today I ask you to help us all, Lord, to live surrendered to you, to your plan, to your design, to your purpose for each and every one of us. I want to encourage you, don't look at one another and say, I want to, you know, there's nothing wrong with admiring somebody and, and somebody mentoring you and being a blessing in your life and encouraging you. But listen, you can only be you. God has called you to be the best version of you. And I want to encourage you today that you have a special anointing and design to only be you. And I encourage you to lean into that and say, God, what is it? What is it that you have for me to do today? What is it that you have for me to say today? What is it that you want to be to me today that I have never experienced in you before? And lean into that and ask him, show me what's in my book today, Lord. Show me what's in my book today, God, that you want me to walk out and live out in the world that I encounter. You touch people I will never touch. You talk to people I will never see. God has called you today to be a world changer in your world and be the best version of you that God has created and destined you to be. So I encourage you today. Lean in the Holy Spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. He knows how to pray the perfect prayer for you. He is a genius. And he knows the answers. Answers that we don't have in the natural. The Holy Ghost has the answers for you and yours today. And I also just heard the Lord say, I'm going to give you a better job. You're sitting there today wondering how you're going to pay your bills. And I hear the Lord saying, I'm going to give you a better job. You thought you lost your best job. But I hear the Lord saying, he's got a better one for you. So you trust him. You trust him. You trust him. And you sow seed in famine. And you watch and see that God will not multiply it back to you. Pressed down, shaken together, and running over. God will give to you because you are faithful. You are faithful. If you look in the New Testament, when they got ready to replace Judas, they chose a man named Matthias. And all that it said about Matthias was they were looking for a man who had been with them the whole time. Right? From the time that Jesus walked the earth till he was crucified and he rose again. They wanted a man who had been with them from the beginning to the end, to the resurrection. Right? And they wanted a man <clears throat> who had just been there. Just faithful. They weren't looking for a prophet. They weren't looking for a teacher. They weren't looking for a healer. They weren't looking for any special gifting other than a man who had been with them from the beginning to the end. They were looking for a faithful man. So here we are. And today, 530 of you, 31 of you, are faithful to get on and pray every day. Every day. And some of you may be wondering today, what is the difference? What, what difference am I making? Well, you're faithful. You're faithful. And your prayers, the Bible says our prayers go up as a sweet-smelling savor before the Lord. It's like the sweet incense before God. And what's beautiful about your, yours and my prayers today is that they live on in heaven before the throne of God, even after we die and we're gone from this earth, our prayers will live on before the throne of God. So what does that mean, Pastor Cindy? Well, this is what it means, is that when you and I are long gone from this earth, 
My prayers that I've prayed for this nation. My prayers that I've prayed for my children. My prayers that I've prayed for my grandchildren will live on for generations before the throne room of God, interceding before the Lord for my family and for my nation. And God will hear my prayers for generations to come. The best gift that you and I could ever give our children and our family is to be a woman of prayer, to be a woman that seeks the Lord, be a woman that's faithful to God, that just stands, that just stands. It doesn't matter what's going on around us. I'm going to trust God. As for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. When come, my mother used to say, come hell or high water. And I still say that to this day. Come hell or high water. This girl and this guy, man of God right here, as for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. We are going to be faithful to Him and stand true to Him regardless of whether He answers another prayer or not because He's already done so many wonderful things in our lives. How can we not bless Him? How can we not follow Him all the days of our life? So Lord, we thank You, God, for these precious women today. I ask that You strengthen them. I ask that You, Holy Spirit, You give them wisdom. You give them insight in prayer that they would lean into You, Holy Holy Spirit and listen for your voice saying, this is the way, daughter. This is the way, man of God. Walk in it. This is what I have for you today. Listen to me and follow me and trust me. I have you in the palm of my hand, says the Lord. And I hear the Holy Ghost saying, he's strengthening you right now. Lift up your hands and receive from the Holy Ghost and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. The Bible says the Holy Ghost will build up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. God, I thank you that you are strengthening your daughters today and you're building up their most holy faith. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh anointing on your daughters today, God. Fresh vision, fresh passion, fresh zeal from the Holy Ghost today. I hear the Lord saying, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, and trust me. Walk in joy. Walk in victory. No, I have already overcome. You are already victorious, says the Lord. You're not fighting for victory. You're fighting from victory. He's already won the victory today. The victory is mine and the victory is yours. He's already won the victory for this nation and the nations of the world. So, Lord, we stand in what you've already done, Jesus, at the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We bless your name, Jesus. You are holy. You are wonderful. You are mighty, oh God. Mighty to save. Mighty to deliver. Mighty to set free in the name of Jesus. Lord, you're intervening right now across this nation and you're working miracles. Well, you're working miracles. You're a miracle working God. Nothing is impossible with you. Nothing is impossible with you. And Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we curse COVID. We command COVID to dry up and die right now in the name of Jesus. No more surgeons of COVID across this nation. It must dry up and die right now in the name of Jesus. All COVID-19 go. Go from the people of God, from the body of Christ, and across this nation. We plead the blood of Jesus over you today. And we say no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. You are healing your people. You are healing your people. In Jesus' name, right now, declare it. Declare it with me. That COVID-19 is drying up right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are healing our land. You're healing our nation and the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus, let your blood flow like a river across this nation and the nations of the world. Woo, hallelujah. We 
thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of a lamb. Sing it. There is power, there's power, there's wonder working power in the precious blood of the lamb. Come on, sing it. There is power, there's power, wonder working power in the blood. Sing it. Of the lamb. There is power, there's power, there's wonder working power in the precious blood of the lamb. One more time. I know there's power, there's power, there's wonder working power in the blood of the lamb. There is power, there's power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the lamb. Lord, we thank you for your blood. We thank you for your blood, Jesus. Oh, I love him. I love Jesus. And I love his blood, his precious blood. Hallelujah. I'm going to read this to you today, November 17th. Here's a word for the, from the Lord, from letters from God. Wholeness. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it's written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. My life was the price for your wholeness. That's Jesus talking to you and I today. I paid for you to be forgiven from all your past, your present, and your future sins, failures, and presumptions. I gave myself so you could breathe the air of freedom. Let the bells of freedom ring in the secret parts of your mind. I paid for your total restoration and healing. All your sicknesses and diseases have been cured at Calvary. Now you and I can walk in divine health. Obey and you will receive these blessings. I paid for you to be delivered from every bondage, addiction, and bad habit. My death produces your life. My suffering equals your comforting. I paid your debts in full. Your debt to me, your debt to the world, and your debt to yourself. I have laid myself down on a piece of old wood so you can sleep like a king. I took your pain so you could lead a happy and blessed life. I was punished so you could be forgiven. I was judged so you could receive mercy. I tasted death so you could experience eternal life. Bathe in this life and the life to come. I defeated the devil so you could live devil free. Woo, I love that. Drink in what I have purchased. Le learn, learn, learn. Grow into my image. Take my sacrifice and heal the world. I have paid for your prosperity in body, soul, and spirit and all other areas of your life. I have broken the curse of legalism. I have shattered the curses of your forefathers. I have redeemed you from sin. It will no longer have power over your life. The door to heaven is open for you. Woo! So the Lord says, I put before you an open door today. Walk in it. Walk through the open door. Your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. I am your purchaser. I alone have rights over you. I alone, the Lord says, have rights over you. So I want to encourage you today. Close any door of any lie that the enemy is trying to speak to you. Anything, that, any kind of fear that the enemy is trying to get you into. You break those things. You repent of them today and you shut the door to them. Okay? You say, no more fear, no more lies. I'm not listening to your lies. I break that. Any agreement that I've had with that, Lord, forgive me and set me free from that lie. I refuse it right now in the name of Jesus. And I'm, I thank you, Lord. You've already purchased by your precious blood all the rights to my life. We shut the door on every lie and all spirits of fear and torment today in the name of Jesus. And we choose to walk through the open door that God has set before us, the open door of faith and trust and know that God is working all things 
for our good according to his will, his purpose, and his plan. Now lift your hands and I'm going to declare a blessing over you today. Lord, I thank you for these women of God and I thank you, Holy Spirit, for blessing them. I pray for the favor of God from the top of their head to the soles of their feet to order them today and to direct their lives. Lord, you're leading them in a clear path, paths of righteousness, a straight path. And God, your Holy Spirit is lighting that path and showing them the way, the way. God, I thank you that you are strengthening them in the Spirit of God and that you are strengthening their faith, strengthening them, God, to walk in the supernatural life and destiny, purpose, and plan that you have for each and every one of them today, Father God. Show them what you have written in their book today that you would have for them to do, Father God. So listen, when you, when you get off this broadcast for the next 30 minutes, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost knows how to pray the mind of the Spirit. And I want you to pray in tongues for the next 30 minutes. I want you to share this broadcast. And I want you to pray in tongues for the next 30 minutes. Because the Holy Ghost knows how to pray. Not only for you and yours, but for this nation and the nations of the world. So I encourage you for the next 30 minutes, you pray in the Holy Spirit. I love you. I bless you. And we will see you here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. God bless you, mothers of Zion. Be encouraged today and walk in victory. God bless you. Bye-bye.